Our mind is so limited because it only knows what it knows. But there is so much that the mind does not know. Who do you want to listen to? The heart that is connected to source and has access to all available information or your mind which is limited? Right? So when you process it this way, when you have heart and mind alignment, what happens is a blending, a blending between the heart and the mind so that you know if there's a gap that you need to close. Nothing is either good or bad. Nothing is either good or bad. But if there is a gap, then that gap is where all fear lies. Between the, the gap, to the extent that there is a gap between your heart and your mind, is where all fear lives. So you see, this gap between our hearts and our minds, this in this gap is all fear that we need to work on. As we close the gap, the fear goes away. And when there is no fear, then all things are possible. You can do anything you want. The gap is what makes things impossible. And to the extent that we can close the gap, we are powerful. And that is why heart and mind alignment is so important. If you have the course, Heart and Mind Alignment Method, that is what the course teaches you. It teaches you to deal with, and also all the work that we do here in this group. This is the purpose of the group. The purpose of the book Thrive and Manifesting Mistakes is to help us close this gap. Through our discussion every day, as our understanding of the law of attraction deepens, we are closing the gap. We are eliminating fear from our mind when we understand how fear is created. When you understand why fear exists, because fear is useful. If fear is so useful. Fear tells you you are not ready. Fear tells you you are not ready for the thing that you want. So what do you have to do? You have to get ready. And then the question is, how do I get ready? All of that guidance comes from closing the gap between your heart and your mind. Your heart tells you where you're going. Your mind tells you if you're ready for the journey. Your heart tells you where you want to go. Your mind tells you whether you're ready for that journey. Is that bad? Not at all. If you, if you start a journey that you're not ready for, you might end up in the middle of a desert without water to drink. Being ready for the journey is so much better. And if you're feeling fear, if you're feeling worry, if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling anger, if you're feeling revenge, if you're feeling dismay, despair, if you're feeling powerless and alone, you are not ready. So you gotta get ready. How do you get ready? You get ready by, in two ways, Either you do what your belief tells you to do, or you change the belief. And sometimes, most of the time, it's a combination. So guys, simplify, 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 simplify. Understand law of attraction because it is working all the time. And if you are not using it, it is still working. Gravity does not stop working when you don't think about it. Gravity does not stop working when you're not thinking about it in the same way. Law of attraction is always working whether you think about it or not. It is always working. Understanding how it works makes us take action that helps us to get to where we want. It helps us to change the beliefs that need to be changed. It helps us to close the gap between the heart and the mind. And that is where all our power is. That's why this moment, the present moment, mindfulness in this moment is important because all your power is 
lies in what you are doing in this moment. Are you thinking about things that have not been working and are not working? Or are you using your power to think about the future in a way that helps you to deliberately create what you want to get? That is why all our power is in this moment. This moment is the opportunity to 